Hello, we are coming to the end of April and I am pleased to say that I am planting the last of the brassicas out in my cage. The last thing that I have to do are my cauliflowers and they're doing really well. The variety is, oh these are the Chinese cauliflowers, so um, they will look really interesting and hopefully they will do really really well. I am growing them in this cage here where I've got cabbages and I've also got some broccoli and hopefully they'll all play nicely together and they will get on very very well and they will all grow beautifully. So as you can see they're about six inches tall and we've got one two three four five and the sixth leaf if you don't include the little baby leaves the sixth leaf is just starting to come up there. Now they do usually say that when you get to the sixth leaf then it, they are the right size to plant out and I would say that we're about ready now wouldn't you? So let me show you how I plant my cauliflowers out into my raised bed. Okay so when you plant your cauliflowers out they do need about um, a foot of space to grow 12 inches sometimes usually in books they'll actually say you need a little bit more but um, most of us don't have that amount of space so what I'm going to do here is I am I've dug a hole which is a little bit deeper than the pot itself we need to plant the brassica the this this cauliflower here just a little bit lower than it is in the pot here so supporting the plant with a couple of fingers just turn it upside down and take the pot off and underneath you can see that there are lots of lovely roots growing they're growing all over the place which is fabulous so I'm just going to pop my cauliflower in the hole just like that and then I'm going to fill in around the plant with the soil that I took out firm it down just like that and then I will do the other one now in between here I am placing these cauliflowers themselves about 12 inches apart from each other but in between here I have got a broccoli this is a lancer broccoli and that will grow tall it won't grow small so it won't compete with the cauliflower growing so hopefully they'll all play nicely together and they will grow really well because some of them are small and some of them are tall so that's my theory and I'm going to stick to it so that's the other one in just level off the soil make sure you put the label in then you know what you're growing and that is all my brassicas in so now my cauliflowers are in all I'm going to do is give them a really good water make sure you protect them from slugs and snails there's all sorts of different ways that you can protect them from slugs, slugs and snails so whichever one works best for you is absolutely fine also make sure that you protect them from the birds I'm growing mine in this brassica cage that I've made and it's got fairly fine netting so hopefully the butterflies won't be able to get in and lay their eggs and then I won't have them overrun with uh, caterpillars later on one year on the allotment I didn't even cover them and I didn't even get anything attacked to them so I, I don't know it's some years you have major problems and other years you don't have any problems at all there's no rhyme or reason for it really so um, mine are now in the cage both my brassica cages are full up now so all my brassicas are in I am very pleased to say so that's what I'm going to do I will keep you updated on their progress and hopefully by the end middle end of summer we may well be harvesting the first of the cauliflowers which will be absolutely great.
Well, I hope you're growing some form of cauliflower this year, whether it's the big white ones, whether it's the Romanesco ones, which I do actually have some seedlings which I need to prick out. That's another job I've got to do. Where I'm going to put those, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll find space somewhere. Need a bigger garden. Shh. <laughs> Need the field over the back. Anyway, um, but uh, I'm sure I'll find a space for them somewhere. But yes, there's still lots more to go out into the garden um, and all sorts of things that need to be potted up into bigger pots. And oh, it's all happening, it's all going, and it's all working really well. So lots of things to do, lots of things to show you. And I hope that you find them all interesting. Well, I hope you found what I've shown you interesting today with the cauliflowers and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.